Praise the Lord, everybody. So praise the Lord, everybody. Can you clap your hands and give him praise? Come on, somebody open up your mouth and give him glory. You might be at home, on your couch, in your bed. You may be even in your kitchen preparing food, but you ought to open up your mouth and give him praise wherever you are. Come on, somebody just begin to open up your mouth. Come on, somebody begin to give him praise. Come on, he deserves all glory and honor. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Anybody grateful that he woke you up this morning, started you on your way, gave you the breath of life, gave you strength. Come on, if you're, glad, if you're grateful, just open up your mouth and give him praise. Come on. You ought to give him praise wherever you are. You ought to just wave your hands if you're driving. Just wave your hands. Give him a wave offering. Come on. Lift your voice and give him praise. Come on. God, we thank you for giving us life. We thank you for giving us strength. We thank you because you kept us all week long. You kept us all week long. You kept us all week long. From danger seen and unseen. You ought to lift your voice and give him the glory. Come on, somebody raise your voice. Raise your voice and give him praise wherever you are. Come on, somebody lift your voice and give him praise. You ought to, come on, you lift your voice and give him glory. Come on, you ought to lift your hands. We're trying to wait until you viewers come on online. You ought to start sharing the broadcast. Share this broadcast with somebody. We're going to give him praise. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and give him praise. Come on, praise team. Let's just open up our mouths. Let's usher in. Let's usher in the spirit of the Lord. We want you to feel the presence of the Lord through this broadcast. You ought to lift your voice and give him glory. Come on, one more time. Somebody open up your mouth and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Lift your voice all over this building. Lift your voice in your homes, in your cars, on your job, at work. Lift your voice and give him praise. He deserves all the praise. He deserves all the praise. He, hey, he deserves all the praise. Hey, he deserves all the praise. In good times, in bad times. He deserves all the praise. He deserves all the praise. You ought to lift up your voice. Come on, come on, write that on the comment line. He deserves all the praise. Come on, I don't know what you've been going through all week, but you ought to look at somebody and tell them, our God is in control. Come on, look at somebody else and tell them, our God is in control. I don't know what you've been facing. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what the doctor says, but tell your neighbor, God is in control. Come on, you ought to declare that on the comment line, God is in control. Come on, somebody declare it, God is in control. Come on, God is in control. He's in control. Come on. Somebody lift your voice and give him glory. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Can you turn the track up? Yes, Lord. Hey. Sovereign God, sovereign King, I trust in you. I trust in you. Sovereign God. Sovereign King, I trust in you. I trust in you. Everybody say, Sovereign God, Sovereign King, I trust in you. I trust in you. Sovereign God, Sovereign God, Sovereign King, I trust in you. Come on, right here, everybody, just to the hey, and we will sing. He's in control. Come on, lift it up. He's in control. Everybody lift it up. Sovereign God. Sovereign God. Hey. Say it out. Sovereign God. Sovereign God. Come on, lift it up. Sovereign God, sovereign God, sovereign King. I trust in you. I trust in you. Everybody lift it up. Sovereign God. 
I trust in you. 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 He's in control. He's in control. Come on, lift it up. Let him say. He's in control. One more time. Let's do it again. Come on, wherever you are, lift it up. Come on. Say, Sovereign God. Sovereign God. Sovereign God. Come on, say. I trust Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sovereign God. Yeah. I trust in you. Come on, do it again. Sovereign God. Sovereign King. You ought to put a bounce on it. Sovereign God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Hey, and we will sing. We will sing. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. You gotta believe. He's in control. 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 No matter what it is, my God. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. Somebody lift it up. Come on, type that on the common line. He's in control. Right here. Hey. Whoa. He's in control, my God. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He's a sovereign God. He's a prince of peace. Everlasting Father. He's in control. No matter what it is, he's in control. Because he rose on the third day with all power. All power in his hands. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. The Lion of Judah, the Lily in the Valley, the Bright and Morning Star. He's in control. Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. He's in control. Now everybody rock like this. Everybody just rock like this. Hey, you want to type that on the common line? Our God is in control. I don't care what you're facing. I don't care what the enemy says. This is what I say. He's in control. 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 Hey, he's in control. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey, he's in control. He's in control. The God that we serve, he's in control. Hey, he's in control. He's in control. Hey, this is how I know. Cause he picked me up. Hey, 
Hey, and they turned me around and they placed my feet on solid ground when I was sinking deep in sin. He lifted me, he lifted me when I'm in weak. He is my strength when I'm in need. He is always there when I am sad. He is my joy. He's in control. 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 Many other planes in a man's heart. He's in control. He's in control. You got to believe it in your heart. Come on, lift it up and say it. He's in control. Somebody lift your hands wherever you are. Come on, lift it up. He's in control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do it one more time. Let's go. Hey. He's in control. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Whoa. He's in control. 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 This is what I believe. He's in control. He's in control. Wave your hands, hey. If you know he is, he's in control. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He knows the plans that he has for you. They are thoughts of peace hey, and not of evil. Hey, he's in control. Hey, he's in control. You want to jump? He's in control. Let's go. One, two. Everybody jump right here. Let's go. One time. He's in control. Come on, lift it up. One time, say, he's in control. Everybody lift it up. He's in control. Hey. Let's go say he's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. Because he has all power. He's a sovereign God. He's in control. 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 Hey, tell me. Who can stand before us when we call on his name? He's in control. Jesus. 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 My Savior. He's in control. Somebody shout. You want to lift your voice and give him the glory. God that we serve, he's in control. Come on, say that. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. believe that the God that we serve he's in control I stand here today letting you know I don't care what the doctor says I don't care what the report says but you want to declare put your hands on yourself and say God is in control over my life over my health over my finances over my family over my over my reason over this state over this country, 
Somebody lift your voice and say, God is in control. And I believe it in the name of Jesus. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you're facing. I don't care what it looks like. You ought to declare God is in control. I said God is in control. He holds the world in his hands. You ought to lift your voice and give him the glory. Our God is in control. He's in control. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. He's in control. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, say he's in control. Yeah. Oh, say he's in control. He's got the whole world in his hand. Yeah. Time lifted up, say he's in control. One more time, he's in control. hands right where you are and declare that in spite of what I'm going through my God is in control come on declare it right where you are come on declare it right in the face of the opposition that you might be dealing with he is in control come on declare it right where you are he is in control come on right where you are he is in control come on I don't care what it looks like I don't care what I'm facing Come on, my God is in control. Come on, he is in control. He is in control. He is in control and I'm here to declare over everything that I'm facing, over all that I'm going through, that because he is the Lord over my life, that he is the God of all gods and that he is in 
control. So tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name. Somebody take 15 seconds and call on the name that's above all names. For I heard the word say that at the name of Jesus that every knee has got to bow. And at the name of Jesus that every tongue has got to proclaim. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and declare the name Jesus. Come on, Jesus. 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 The name that's above. Jesus. The name that's bigger. Jesus. The name that's greater. Jesus. The name that's larger. Jesus. He's higher than any heaven. Jesus. He's greater than any ocean. Jesus. Somebody call him. Somebody call him. I heard somebody say, the more I call him. Somebody say, the more I call him, the better I feel. Somebody call the name Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Hiya. Come on, somebody call Jesus. 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 Come on, you can't call him and not feel something. You can't call him and not feel something. You can't call him and something not happen. You can't call him and he not come. You can't call him and something not happen. You can't call him and he did not take place. You can't call him and breakthrough not it happen. Something happened. When I call the name Jesus, I said something happens. When I call the name Jesus, something happens. When I call the name Jesus, something happens. When I call the name Jesus, whatever you need is in the name Jesus. Somebody lift up your hands, open up your mouth, and declare the name that's above every name. Declare the name of Jesus. Hey Jesus, hey Jesus, hey, hey, hey Jesus. Oh, oh. my Jesus, 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 my Savior forever, my Savior forever. My Savior forever, my Savior forever, my Savior, my Savior forever, my Savior forever, my Savior forever, my Savior forever. Somebody lift up your voice and shout the name of Jesus. She is up. She is up. She is up. Say, she Somebody open up your mouth, holler one more time, say cheers! Masaya. Hey, Oh. 
They say there that crazy church goes shouting again. But I gotta praise him. Cause I thank God for cheer. I said, I thank God for cheer. Somebody ought to say, I thank God for cheer. Come on, everybody, clap your hands right here. Come on, I wish I had a praiser. Come on, ECC, clap those hands. Tell somebody you got a right. You've got a right. And you've got a reason. You've got a right. Hey! Take your seats. Thank your praise team. I want to preach. If you would, give me just a few moments. We have a late start to today's service due to technical difficulties. But I just need somebody to say in the house. Somebody to say online. One more time, say, I thank God for Jesus. for Jesus I thank God for Jesus I want you to go with me very quickly very quickly thank you all for being with us thank you to the essential staff that's with us. That's with us this afternoon. And to those who are watching with us online, the Lord bless you. Amen. I promise I won't be before you long. 
Amen. But I want to preach. Amen. What the Lord has given me for the people of God this afternoon. Amen. I pray that you don't be distracted. Amen. In your homes. Amen. Wherever it is that you are this afternoon. But if you have your word, would you go with me very quickly to Romans, the eighth chapter. Romans, the eighth chapter. Very familiar passage of scripture. I promise you I won't be before you long. Somebody say preach strong. Romans 8, the 8th chapter and the 18th verse says, Romans 8 and 18 says, For I consider that the suffering, it says that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us for the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly awaits for the revealing of the sons of God. Again, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly awaits for the revealing of the sons of God. I want to preach to you for the next, amen, I'm not going to give you a time, for the next few moments in time, I'm still in his hands. I need somebody to say here, and I need somebody to type it on the comment line. I'm still in his hands. I'm still in his hands. I'm still in his hands. No matter what comes our way, it's sweet relief in knowing that we, as children of God, are still in the hands of the Lord. We all face some trouble in our lives and we all face some setbacks throughout our lifetimes. We all experience some ups. We all experience some downs. We experience pain, loneliness, Disappointments, dejections, reject, rejections, sickness, but through it all, there is yet sweet relief in knowing that we are still in his hands. Somebody say, thank you. I'm still in his hands. Why is it sweet relief in knowing that we are in his hands. Simply put, it's like, Brother Joe, is like the Allstate commercial. You know that you are in good hands because you are in his hands. And in his hands, you find healing. In his hands, you find deliverance. In his hands, you find peace. In his hands, you find joy. You find strength. You find guidance. You find power. We find the gift of 
eternal life. We find abundant life. We find victory. We find salvation. You are eternally secure when you find yourself in the hands of the almighty God. But yet because, just because you find yourself in the hands of the Lord does not mean that your life will be rosy. Does not mean your bed, you will lie in a bed, amen, that's full, amen, of comfort, amen, and amen, that will be smoothed all over. Amen. In this life, amen, the Bible says we'll be full of trouble. Amen. For example, we find, amen, the story, amen, of our dear friend, Brother Joseph. Amen. Brother Joseph, amen, went through, amen, a lot of trials. Amen. Brother Joseph went through lots of tribulations before he was made second in command of Egypt. We find another story where Brother Job, amen, was in the hand of the Lord yet. He experienced trial after trial, tribulation after tribulation, where he lost literally everything that he had within a 24-hour period, including the death of his children. Yet, he was still in the hand of the almighty God. We find the three Hebrew boys were in the hand of the Lord when they were thrown into the fiery furnace, yet they were still, somebody say still, in the hand of the Lord. Daniel was in the hands of the Lord when he was thrown into the lion's den. John the Baptist was in the hand of the Lord when he was beheaded for speaking the truth. The apostle Paul was in the hand of the Lord when he was shipwrecked, beaten, left for dead and whipped, thrown into prison for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yet because of who you are and because you are in the hand of the Lord does not exempt you from persecution. It does not exempt you from trouble. It does not exempt you from setback. And it does not exempt you from pain. But yet when you face the trial, and the tribulation in your life, you have to understand that it is the hand of the Lord that carries us through the storm and through the trials and the tribulations, through the setbacks, through the troubles, and through the pain. Somebody ought to lift up your hands right there and say, Lord, thank you for carrying me through. Not only does God carry us through the storms and life with his hands, but you have to understand that while we are yet in the middle of the storms that he's carrying us through, that it is while we are yet in the middle of those storms that God is yet molding us and God is yet shaping us with his hands. God is yet molding us and shaping us with his hands. Yes, you are already fearfully and wonderfully made according to Psalms 139 and 14. The Bible says you are the crown of God's creation. And according to Genesis 1, 26 and 31, but yet God is still shaping and molding you. Better yet, he is in the process, somebody say the process 
The process of reshaping and remolding us from the inside. That's it. He's reshaping and remolding our hearts. And he's remolding our souls and in our mind so that he can transform us into the person and into the people that he wants us to be. Why? Because it is for his glory. Somebody say for his glory. It's for his glory simply because many of us have gone out of his will. Many of us have gone out of his way simply because we have gotten to a place where we have gone astray. Somebody shout, we've gone astray. We've gone astray because we've wanted to do things our way for so long. We've wanted to do things our way for so long. And we have gotten to the place where we have mistaken our will over his will and our way over his way. But we have to learn how to ask God, amen, to take, amen, our will away from us. Mm -hmm. We have to ask God to take our way from us. And we have to learn how to pray, Lord, not my I will but your will be done even in the hardest places where we know God that this is our desire this is our fleshly desire Lord I'm in a place amen in a place and in a position where this is not what I want this is not what I need amen not necessarily this is not what I need amen but Lord this is what I want but I'm in a place Lord where I'm asking you to eliminate my wants and give me what I need is there anybody that can admit amen that I'm in a place where I know I have some desires and things that I want but God if it doesn't mean me any good take away my fleshly wants and give me what my spirit needs God I need you to mold me again I need you to shape me again I need you to have amen like the old folks used to say have thine own way Lord have thine own way thou art the potter and I am the clay mold me and make me folks don't pray like that no more mold me and make me break me down if you have to but mold me shape me do what you have to do take me out of the equation whatever it is that you have to do God do it again in me somebody lift up your voice open up your mouth and say do it again in me oh God do it again in me, oh God. Uh, God shapes us and he molds us uh, when we place our faith uh, in him and him alone. Somebody say, Lord, uh, help me to increase my faith in you. Uh, help me to increase my faith in you. Uh, why is it that we need to increase our faith in him? Uh, simply because, Sister Brittany, there's so much, amen. Uh, there's so much on the outside that distracts us uh, from the things of God. Uh, there's so much that distracts us from what God is really calling us to. There's so much that distracts us from what God is really calling us to. That's why Paul said, I press toward the higher mark and I press toward the higher prize, the higher calling in Christ Jesus. Tell somebody you gotta press. You've gotta press. That's why the scripture says, the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 that we walk by faith and not not by sight. Uh, that's why sometimes, regardless to what you see around you, Brother Dion, uh, you've got to put your blinders on uh, because you can't look at the things that you see with the natural eye, uh, but you've got to learn how to open up your spiritual eyes uh, and see with the eyes of the Spirit. Uh, you've got to learn how to see what God is calling you to see. Uh, somebody put your hands over your eyes and say, God, uh, I don't want to see with my natural eyes no more, uh, but God, allow me to see see uh, what it is that you want me to see in the spirit uh, allow me to see uh, what it is that you want me to see uh, God shape me uh, God mold me uh, allow me to have the faith uh, that you want me to see uh, so that I might be able to see uh, not what's in my today uh, but God allow me to see myself uh, in the tomorrow that you have already predestined uh, for me to be in uh, God I know you've already Already shaped uh, my destiny uh, before the foundations of the earth uh, but God I'm going through something right now uh, that's a little bit hard for me right now uh, that I can't see my tomorrow uh, past my today uh, God you told me that I'm still in 
your hands. Uh, but God, I'm struggling uh, past my right now. Uh, but if you help me, uh, then I know I'll be helped. Uh, somebody lift up your voice. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and shout, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. That's why I can say, Father, I stretch my hand. Somebody ought to lift up your hand. I know you're at home, but I dare you. That's your first cathedral. That's your first tabernacle. I dare you to lift up your hands right where you are. Say, Lord, I need your help. Lord I need your help uh, that's why we got to learn how to walk by faith uh, that's why the Bible says that it's without faith um, uh, I'm in Hebrews now Hebrews 11 and 6 y'all. Uh, um, that's without faith it's impossible to please God uh, for he that cometh to God uh, must first believe that he is uh, and that he is a rewarder to them uh, uh, to them that diligently seek him uh, so we understand that God should shapes and molds us when we place our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and then God shapes and molds us when we go to him in prayer Jeremiah Brittany Jeremiah says it like this Jeremiah 33 and 3 first lady he says call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things oh my God he says if you call to me I I will answer you uh, and I will show you great and mighty things uh, which you do not know. Uh, In other words, uh, Brother Joe, we've got to go beyond. Uh, We've got to go beyond that prayer. Uh, That prayer that says, Lord, have mercy. Uh, That prayer that says, uh, I don't know how to reach God uh, except for to ask him to have mercy uh, because I did not know what I was doing. Uh, Or that prayer that says, Lord, have have mercy uh, because I knew what I was doing uh, but I know that he is a God of grace and mercy uh, that if I reach out for mercy uh, that he is faithful enough to provide mercy uh, but it says that if you call unto me uh, he says I will answer you uh, I will not only answer you uh, but I'll show you great and mighty things uh, things that you did not know uh, somebody lift up your hands uh, and say Lord bring me to a place uh, not you to a place uh, but Lord bring me to a place of prayer uh, a place of prayer where I'm not the only one talking uh, but to a place of prayer where I'm talking uh, and a place where I'm listening uh, for heaven to respond uh, heaven to respond on my behalf uh, in other words I've got to be patient uh, patient enough to sit down uh, and wait on God uh, my God uh, there used to be a time in prayer uh, when after you finished talking to God uh, you would just sit there and you would wait uh, in the presence of God uh, and nobody would say a word uh, because the presence would be so heavy uh, and nobody would say a word uh, because they will wait for the word of God uh, for God to say something uh, whether it's through the mother in Zion uh, or whether it's through a prophet uh, but I would sit there and wait uh, for God to say something uh, but he said if you're called my God if you call him to me he said I will answer you he said you're not gonna have to wait for me to reveal this unto a prophet you're not gonna have to wait for me to reveal this unto a pastor but he said I will answer brother Joe he said if you call me I will answer you Brittany he said if you call me he said I'll answer you overseer he said if you call me he said I'll answer you Austin he said if you call me he said I'll answer you Devana where you at he said if you call he said I'll answer Pastor Stacy are you hearing what I'm saying he said if you call he said I'll answer and then I will show you great and mighty things that you did not know if you come to me and prayer if you wait patient wait patiently wait patiently don't move to the left don't move to the right but dealing stay right where you are and wait 
for my word. Don't move. Lean not into thy own understanding, but acknowledge me in all in all of your ways. But wait, I say upon the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart you may not get your answer when you want to but wait a little while I heard the Bible say in Jeremiah 33 and 3 if you call if you call on me he said I will answer I will answer you and if God if God if God promised to answer that settles it all you've got to do is wait on the word of the Lord and be of good courage don't worry about who's going before you but the word of the Lord is forever is forever settled you don't have to worry about what's going on around you you've already prayed and I heard the Bible say just like just like he told just like he told Daniel I heard I heard you when you prayed when you prayed the first time but I had I had to go into warfare on your behalf and I had to send the archangel to go into warfare on your behalf I'm here to tell somebody that there is a warfare going on in the heavenlies on your behalf all you gotta do is sit down a little while for in a little while there is getting ready to be a response on your behalf you may feel like it's taking a little while but I'm here to let you know that although you feel like it's been a long time I'm here to let you know that your delay is not your denied I heard the Bible. The Bible said that wait, 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 wait. I say on the Lord for they, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They, 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 they shall mount. On the way as an eagle, I'm not done yet, but I've come to tell you that while you're waiting, while you're sitting in the waiting in the waiting position you've got to get up from sitting down and ask God to order say God order I don't want to go to the left and I don't want to go to the right but if I'm going to get up to do your will Father I've got to do your will and I've got to do it your way. So Father, order my steps in your way. Somebody lift your voice and say, order my steps in your way. And let not iniquity have dominion over me. In other words, 
take this fleshly desire away from me because when I exalt myself higher than your word then I'm getting myself out of your will and out of alignment with who you are and I don't want to get too far from the cross so I hide me behind hide me hide me behind hide me hide me behind hide me behind the cross shape me through my life experience mold me shape me have that away I hate I hate I heard, I heard David say that before, before I was afflicted, I would have stray. But now, 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 I have kept thy word, and thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light, uh, and a light unto my pathway. Is there anybody in this house that's glad that they had to go through their life experience that can testify that if it had not been for the Lord who is on my side, let the church now say that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I should have been dead sleeping in my grave but if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side should have lost my mind a long time ago but if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side I'm so glad that I I am still in his hands. The pills that I took should have killed me, but his hands was on my life. The bullet should have took me out, but his hands was on my life. The accident should have took me out, but his hands was on my life. COVID-19 should have wiped us out, but his hand, oh yeah, 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 his hand is on my life, and I'm so glad that I serve a God who has his hands over my life, and I told you last year this time as we took our right hand and we put it over our head and said that I am I am covered by the blood I know that you're not in this house but you're in the right place at the right time I dare you to take your right hand and put it over your head and say I am covered yes yes I am covered by the blood yes tell somebody I'm so glad that I am covered by the blood yes I am covered by the blood yes yes I am covered by the blood that's why the Bible said that he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I 
will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my God. In Him will I trust. Surely, 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 He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with feathers under his wing. Tell somebody, I am covered. Somebody lift up your voice and shout, I am covered and I am still in his hands. I'm still in his hands. Say yes, say yes, say yes. Yes, I'm still in. I'm still in. I said, 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 I'm still in. No matter, no matter what comes, and no matter what goes, I can lift up my hands. I can open up my mouth and say with assurity that my God is still in control and that I am still in his hands. Somebody open up your mouth and say I am. Oh. I am. I am. I'm still in his hands. Oh. I'm still in his hands. I'm still in his hands. I'm still, somebody say, I'm still in his hands. I'm still in his hands. I'm still, somebody write that in your screen. I'm still in his hands. I'm still in his hands. And everything you've gone through all year has without a doubt caused you to question at some point in time, where is God? Or ask that famous question that we often joke about Crenshaw, this is me and Crenshaw's joke, what meaneth thou this? God, you surely can't mean for me to have to deal with this, for me to have to go through this, for us to have to struggle with this. could I submit to you that even regardless to your stature in him brother Joe that there's some part of you that God is still trying to remake that God is still reshaping that God is still remolding and where we should rejoice is that God is still Brother Elijah, he's still remaking us. And he didn't throw us away. We, we talk about, listen, listen to this revelation, ECC. We talk often. We speak often of the potter. Fix this, Nisa. Fix this cord. We speak often. We speak often of the potter and how when the potter, when the, when the creation of what the potter is doing, Lady Sherry, let this bless you. When the potter is creating something, when it's not right, Brother Joe, it starts to sing while it's in the oven. He molds it, he fashions it, 
He puts it in the oven for it to, for it to harden, for it to become what he's created. He puts it in the oven. But when it's not right, it starts to whistle. So he has to pull it out. He looks at the imperfections. Now what they do in today's society is that they sell it to what the stores were. It used to be A.J. Wright and Cal Doors and what stores we have now. I don't know, but you know, those type of stores and they sell it at a lower price. But in Bible times, they couldn't sell it at all. So they would break it. They would redo it all over again. And then they would remold it and reshape it and do it all over again. And then they would do it, start the process all over again. But if it got to a point where they could not do anything with what they were creating, they would discard it. And they would throw it away. Aren't you glad that that's not like God? That every time God said that I have purpose over your life, that God doesn't say, well, I can't continue to keep remaking and remolding and reshaping them. How many chances can I continue to give them? That God says they sing it again. I can't, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out of the fire and I'm going to allow them another opportunity and I'm going to allow them another, another chance. So I'll pull them out of the fire now and I'm going to give them an opportunity to be remolded. And I'm going to give them an opportunity to be reshapen, to be refastened again. So he takes you out and he caresses you and he remolds you. And you go through life for a period of time where you, everything is all right. And you're going through life as you tiptoeing through the tulips, as Overseer would say. And everything seems right. And then just at the right time, God says it's time for you to be proven. And right back in the fire you go. Somebody say because it's proving time. But it's until you realize that it's all a part of his process. Somebody say his process. His process, you're proving. His process, you're proving. I hope you were blessed by today's word. I'm still in his hands. Come on, let's pray. Lord, I pray that somebody was blessed by today's word. I don't know where they are in their process. I don't know where they are in their process. But I pray that today's message gave them strength to continue in their process. Gave them strength for their journey. Lord, somebody's watching that don't know which way to go. Give them strength to call you. Just as you said in Jeremiah 33 and 3, if they call you, that you will answer. That you will not only answer them, but that you will show them great and mighty things. Things that they did not know. Do it for them now, God. Do it for them now, God. It is our prayer. It is our decree. Right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray healing over the people. Healing over this body. In the name of Jesus. Have thine. O way, Lord. Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
If there's someone on this line now that's not saved, we pray now that they will repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life, into my heart, into my soul. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you came. I believe that you died. And I believe that you rose again. And that you're seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for me. I believe that if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead, then I shall be saved. My brother, my sister, if you prayed that prayer with us, then we believe that you have made the best decision of your life. And we believe that you are saved. I want those that are here to begin clapping your hands. I want those that are online, I want you to do me a favor and just type in the comment section. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the family of God. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to type into this section, I'm saved, 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 I'm saved. Those who are partnered with us, I want you to prepare your heart for giving. I want you to prepare your heart for giving. you to prepare your heart for giving prepare your heart for giving amen I want you to prepare your heart for giving the giving information is coming up on the screen shortly if it's not already there For those of you sewing, the information is on the screen. You can text the word empowerment to 73256. You're going to text the word empowerment to 73256 and sow your tithe and offering or your love gift. We're asking those that can to help us sow. Amen. Sow an amen. A seed offering. Amen of your choosing. Man, we know you're sowing your tithing, your offering. Amen. But we've gone through great expense this week in having, amen, a deep clean to the sanctuary. Amen. As we are reopening the sanctuary, amen, next Sunday. Amen. I've decided to help reopen the sanctuary next Sunday. Amen. We are going to have the sanctuary reopened next Sunday to have our youth do a presentation. Amen. I just made a decision. As we are celebrating, amen, Black History Month, amen, we're asking those to come in, amen, that can to wear your, amen, African-American uh, attire in salute of, amen, our African-American heritage, heritage, <laughs> amen. Amen. So we're sowing. You can sow to text the word empowerment to 73256. Amen. You can go to our website, empowermentcct.org. Amen. Or you can mail your seed offering in to the Empowerment Christian Church, 79 Lawrence Street, 
in the city of New Haven, Connecticut, 06511. There is no seed too great and there is no seed too small. Little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. I pray that you were blessed by today's word. We thank you all for being a part of today's service, whether you were in service or whether you were amen, the essential workers that were in service rather. Amen. And to those who, amen, were a part of our online gathering, thank you all so much. Amen. We look forward to seeing you all, amen, next Sunday. Amen. And to those, amen, that continue to keep us lifted in prayer. Amen. We feel your prayers. Amen. First Lady and I, we miss you all so much. Amen. And we look forward to seeing you all. Amen. Real soon. Amen. Amen. I believe that's all for the announcements. Amen. Am I missing anything? Amen. Thank you all again. Amen. God bless you. Father, as we get ready to leave this place, but never your presence. Amen. We ask that you go with us as we go with you. Love us. We will be loved. Keep us. We will be kept. Deliver us. And we shall be delivered for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, both now and forever. And the people of God said, amen, amen, amen. You are dismissed. The Lord bless you. Well, wow. What an amazing service. I pray that you were renewed, restored, and most of all, empowered. Well, right now, it's an opportunity for all of you to help us to do what we're trying to do in ministry and outreach and in missions. I want to challenge those that are watching us right now to sow a seed into our ministry and we offer you three ways to do so. You can do it by texting the word empowerment to 73256 and following following the texting prompts. Secondly, you can go online to our website at www.empowermentcct.org. Click on the online giving tab and then follow the instructions. And the third way to do so is to mail in your seed offering gift to our offices right here at the Empowerment Christian Church, 79 Lawrence Street in the city of New Haven, Connecticut, 06511. My brothers and my sisters, there's no seed too great and there's no seed too small. Little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. Until the next time, we bid you grace and peace. God bless you.